with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash Griffin Chestnut here on YouTube. Richard's book that he is reviewing for us today is titled Blind Willow Sleeping Woman, uh, 24 short stories by Haruki Murakami. This is the author of The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, uh, Norwegian Wood, um, Sputnik Sweetheart, and many others. Uh, this is a national bestseller, and according to the San Francisco Chronicle, a warning to new readers of Haruki Murakami, you will become addicted. His newest collection is enigmatic, as sublime as ever. Uh, that's referring to, of course, the band Sublime, uh, who uh, was very popular in the 90s um, in California. Uh, with their Dalmatian dog named uh, Lou. Anyway, um, back to the story. Um, so this is a uh, collection of 24 short stories by Haruki Murakami. Um, Richard uh, read this entire book, this entire piece, in uh, the year 2014, and that's when he obtained this book. He loved it. He, he, he thought this was a, a, a beautiful piece. He loved the book. He loved all the 24 stories inside, uh, and he thought that it very much well fit into your average uh, Murakami uh, style of uh, onset. Uh, he talks about the puberty of younger females and how, uh, and how he frames that. It's uh, definitely an enlightened form of schematicism, which can be attributed to a number of development copies uh, which you can find throughout the book. Um, nonetheless, it is uh, a psychological insight to a lot of uh, other Murakami works. So we're going to take a look at the piece here. This is Richard's piece, so we have to be pretty careful with it. He keeps all of his pieces in pretty good condition. But we're going to go over it, and we're going to talk about the dimensions and what brings the character arc into different types of styles. Now, the front cover, of course, is uh, John Gall, uh, your average John Gall, who does most of the translations for Haruki Murakami. And uh, these healthy uh, adrenic uh, production glands often show the coloring between the two characters in each story. There's often a well, uh, a lost cat, a girl that goes missing, and the main character, of course, being from uh, Pinball 1973, and so forth. So this is one of his most recent pieces, and um, Richard rates it very highly. Uh, Richard proclaims this piece gets two thumbs up, as well as uh, most of the other pieces that Haruki Murakami puts out. This is not Richard's favorite Murakami uh, piece but it is uh, a very good one. Uh, he has yet to find a Murakami book that he is not a fan of. Maybe after the quake, uh, that one may be Richard's least favorite, but ultimately Richard is a huge, huge fan of Murakami. Nothing but quality things to say about, about this man. This, this guy brings in the, the quality um, performance when it comes to uh, dissecting his mind and really bringing out the um, decreasing uh, verses uh, between what we have here with a receptor and uh, suppressing the male's testosterone. So, uh, kudos for Haruki. Now, let's take a look at the piece here. It's in great condition, as you can tell, and there's a soft cover. So, it is a decent, a decent size, a nice thickness and good girth. But, uh, it is a soft cover, so you can see the wave, and it's got good cream, good cream along the edges, very good cream, and it, it is bendy, it is wavy, it does have some wave to it, but this is a very uh, provocative book by uh, Haruki Murakami, so um, let's take a look at the, the top cream, top cream, all the pages are in good order, and the condition once again is in great, great condition. Even the sides, good cream. And let's take a look at the bottom cream. Good cream, very good cream. Now along the side, we have Blind Willow Sleeping Woman Mirakami, vintage label. And on the back, we have some more information about this piece. 
So of course, here's your picture of Mirakami himself. Um, we have multiple praise for the book and the writing of the piece itself. What can be said about the recreation between each stylistic point and the notion of each. So what you can do is formulate a plot that can bring in to two different types of different statures. And you can find this by eating out as much as you can. So basically you want to get that formidable notion. Whimsical, magical, darling. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's take a look here. We have a price right above the barcode as the genre is in fiction and the price is US $14.95, Canadian $21. So once again, Richard is uh, paying less than $20 for um, this piece which he uh, normally does uh, acquire, and he's able to do in a uh, fantastic notion. Um, that is not to say that Richard uh, won't pay more than a certain amount, but he has paid a decent amount uh, for pieces before. And this brings us back to um, the beautiful notion of making uh, videos and reviews for Richard. So Richard is here, he is giving us a crash course on uh, his piece right here. And over in the top we have Mirakami. Uh, that's, let's get a picture of him up here. Here he is. He is uh, he's looking pretty good there. Uh, Richard's a fan of how he looks. He thinks that there's a lot of new stuff about him. So that's a positive plus. Um, he's got a delicate smile and a a nice hue to his skin tone. Um, he believes that the skin tone is a formation of, um, you know, uh, the sun and vitamin D, of course. So you can find that through all of his pieces. As we take a look now, we get inside the potential piece. We get some more praise about this piece and all the uh, sleeping stances. So this is 24 short stories, and uh, they're all listed right here. The mirror. Uh, of course, is a nod to the Russian film director Andrei Tarkinkowski, who uh, uh, directed a film titled The Mirror, which ultimately was the closest autobiographical uh, piece, basically, was. And uh, he asked for the free version, and he got the free version. So, good on him. Introduction to the English version, which is um, what a lot of people find hard to do, but uh, you'll notice the smiley faces, they're in, in debt, and they cultivate uh, commercial limitations. Uh, it's literally a software where you can buy online, which is free, and uh, you get different types of studios, and one studio has one software, and another studio has a, a purple fluff that you can hold in your hand. And once it gets too fluffy, you can squeeze it. And then the, the Arabs, they shine like um, it, like in the Middle East. They shine how they just turn. And that's how you know you got a good one. So you want to keep that in mind when reading Mirakami. And he goes on, um, for the most part. Not as much uh, illustrations as, uh, per se, Vonnegut. Vonnegut uh, draws a lot during his uh, pieces. But... Uh, or Bukowski, maybe Bukowski, does a little uh, in Inception, sort of, if you will. Uh, uh, not the uh, movie by Christopher Nolan starring Leonardo DiCaprio in 2010, where they're able to uh, subsidize the dream world and ultimately coexist with um, uh, different persons' subconscious. And they go in there and they can tweak and mingle and fingle and really uh, dringle away. And that's how they uh, they do it. Uh, so a nod here to Andre Tarkovsky, a nod here to uh, Christopher Nolan, and of course a nod here to um, Sublime, the uh, '90s um, ska uh, rock band, who uh, whose lead singer uh, Bradley unfortunately passed away due to a uh, drug overdose, leaving uh, the donation uh, homeless and without a master. Uh, luckily, um, 
Sublime uh, came out with a uh, decent amount of albums in the free time and uh, brought about um, a substantial uh, space that you can play around with. Okay, so that's Rich's review for uh, Blonde Willow Sleeping Woman uh, by Haruki Murakami. This is Richard Reviews.